At the site of natural gas recovery, a vertical well is drilled approximately 6,000 feet straight down into the ground through several layers of earth and rock until the shale layer is reached. While drilling the well, the drill is kept cool and lubricated by pumping a pressurized mud solution down through the drilling pipe, through the drill head, and out of the three jets. This also maintains the well bore stability and removes the cuttings up and out of the well. Once the drill reaches the level at which the shale is located, the drill changes direction and the hole is drilled horizontally approximately 1,000 to 3,000 feet into the shale. When the drilling is complete, the mud solution and cuttings are sucked out of the hole and the drill is removed. Steel casing is then fed the entire length of the well. The casing is then secured in place by cement that is pumped down through the pipe and up the outsides of the casing. The cement is pumped under pressure to the end of the pipe so that there is no cement within the inside of the casing. The drill is then sent down the casing where it drills through the cement end and into the shale. Once again, the mud solution and cuttings are sucked up and out of the well and the drill is removed. A perforated pipe gun is then sent down and out of the casing and into the newly drilled section of the well. Explosives are then fired from the gun through the perforations and into the shale. Fracturing fluid primarily a mixture of water and sand, is then pumped from the surface facility down the well bore and into the fractures. The fractures crack, expand, and branch out, allowing the natural gas to be extracted more easily. The fluid is then pumped out, and the fracturing gun is moved in reverse down the well bore. In multi-stage fracturing, a plug is installed before the entrance of the recently fractured area, and the process is repeated. The fracturing and plugging process is repeated the entire length of the well bore to maximize potential natural gas extraction efficiency. Once all the fractures are completed, the plugs are drilled out and the natural gas is able to flow, allowing for extraction. The natural gas is then pumped up the well bore to the surface facility for processing.